the function of the avalanche dogs is to find people who are buried in avalanches. Well, they work for us because it's fun. And if we don't keep it fun, then they don't want to do it. To them, it's just a game. They have no idea the serious nature of the work. We keep it very lighthearted and nothing but a game. The dogs are uh, owned by the individual handlers. Right now, we've got Shannon Brown has Sable, which is a, a Boykin Spaniel who doesn't look like a typical avalanche dog, but is actually just an amazing Abbey dog. Rick Frost has Cricket, which is a black lab female who's older. And then he also has Ziggy. So he's got two black female black labs, an older dog and a younger dog. Chris Brindisi has Josie and Wookie. Those are both German Shepherds. And then we've got Pete Lynn that's got Goose, who's also uh, in training, and that's the Border Collie. It takes about two years to get a dog to where they'll test out and validate and search really well. These dogs absolutely love coming to work. If we pick up any implements used in the drilling, a shovel, their reward rag, if they even see a couple of dog handlers talking for more than about 30 seconds, they get really excited. You'll hear them whining, their eyes will get wide open. Their reward is a lot of praise and a game of tug of war. These dogs work in two different drives when we take them to go search. There's the hunt, which is the search part. They're hunting, basically, to find this person, this, this live human scent source. And then when they find the subject that they're looking for, then they tap into the prey drive, and that's what you see with the dog ragging. We have a variety of methods uh, in which we transport the dogs. To start the day, generally they'll ride either the aerial tram or the gondola to their duty station. To get to the drill sites or an actual avalanche, you can put them over your shoulders. They're very comfortable there. They're trained like that from pups. Uh, they're very comfortable on snowmobiles. They're trained to ride in toboggans. They're kind of thinking more about where they're going and what they're going to get to do. When they're brand new, like Luna is, really all I'm doing is just, uh, I'm bringing her to work with me, getting her accustomed to the chairlift, and just kind of getting used to the environment and all the nuances of a ski area. I'm just working on all the basic obedience kind of things. You know, even the ragging with the wool, like all, all of those things will eventually be incorporated into the actual training for the avalanche specific skills. Not many people get to bring their dog to work, never mind have their dog be, be part of their work. The enjoyment you get from raising this dog from a little pup, watching it grow daily, uh, every time they reach a new plateau and they have a new success, uh, it's, it's pretty special. There's an extremely strong bond that's developed through the working process on the mountain. To me, that was, that's a huge draw to it all, is the fact that she comes to work. It makes a, a big difference just day to day. It's a, lot, it's a lot of extra work, and it changes your day dramatically as a ski patroller to have a dog that you're hauling around with you, but uh, just couldn't be better. 